over tipping. We're used to leaving tips at restaurants if the service is good, but what about doing it twice? That's what's happening at a Sacramento restaurant. KCRA 3's Tom Miller joins us live in a Sacramento. And Tom, why the additional tip line? Rob, what this boils down to is an increase in the minimum wage. Servers who make the state minimum wage are seeing their take home pay go up as the minimum wage increases, whereas others who work in the restaurant and maybe make a dollar or two above minimum wage but no tips are not. What this experiment hopes to do is change that. They're among the hardest workers in the restaurant business and the least compensated. Now at Sacramento's Magpie, that's changing. It's made a big impact on the way that our cooks feel about their work, and it's made a substantial impact on their take home. Co owner Ed Rohr is adding a second tip line to the receipt one for servers, one for the kitchen. All we've done here at Magpie was to let our guests know that now they have an option to go ahead and pass along some of the gratuity to the, to the people that work in the back of the house as well. While servers, hosts, and bussers make minimum wage plus tips, most cooks and other back house employees make just above minimum wage but without tips. As minimum wage rises from $8 in June 2014 to 10 in 2016, the front house gets a raise while the back does not. We've seen some things like this happen in other cities, but this is kind of a pioneer experiment in Sacramento. Um, so far, there's no hard data to see if it's catching on, if customers like it or don't like it. The response is mixed, though most seem open to the idea. I don't have a problem, you know, tipping the, the people that are making the food. Wow. The cooks and all the chefs and stuff, they deserve just as much as we do. They do just as much work. On the other hand, this Yelp review calls it tacky and sarcastically asks just who else should be tipped. However, Roar sees it as a solution to the industry's wage equality problem. We might have an opportunity to set an example for the way other restaurants uh, comport themselves and to try to make the, the system of gratuity just a little more inclusive. Now at Magpie, the kitchen staff does not expect to be tipped the same as the servers. I'm told that right now they're averaging around 2.6%, which is a modest increase, but certainly better than before. Reporting live in Sacramento, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. So Tom, it sounds like it's about everybody needs to be compensated. This is a first of its kind concept, at least here in Sacramento. What about customers? Do they know how much they're supposed to tip? Well, at first they really didn't. I'm told that they were tipping about 50-50 between the servers and the kitchen staff, but uh, Magpie went ahead and put out an information card that says the kitchen expects to be tipped somewhere between 3 and 5 percent, where it's customary to tip the servers between 15 and 18 percent. All right, so a lot of math involved there.